us to be free. Right? I want us to be able to live. I want us to be able to be human, regardless of status, station, right? Like just being able to help and support folks get to wherever it is they need to go to. My personal mission, my personal goal is to change my community. So I'm Joe Douglas from Philly. Uh, I was born and raised in Philly, originally from North Philly, 17th in Columbia or Cecil B. Moore, 32nd in Cecil B. Moore, Hunting Park. And like I said, born and raised here, went to Lincoln High School, graduated in 92, ROTC, Air Force ROTC student. Not long after high school, uh, it's 1992. I'm done with high school. I work at McDonald's. I'm getting frustrated with life because I was always told you graduate high school, you know, you'll know, you be able to get these good things. And I work at McDonald's. And I'd like to say I started hanging with the wrong people. They weren't the wrong people. It was my family members. In 1996, I was uh, arrested and incarcerated for eight years. During those eight years, I realized, one, I had a big problem with people in authority <laughs> from listening to individuals. Um, particularly people I thought I was smarter than. So I started to figure out like, well, what do I need to do so I don't put myself back in this position? I think I have something. How do I use whatever that is to make sure I'm not in this position again? Part of that was figuring out who I was. So who Joseph Douglas is as a person, what do I want, what do I want for my community, what do I want to see in the world, and then just trying to move towards that. When I went upstate, I was told I was a progressive criminal, so I was going to continue to commit crimes, and it was just going to get worse. When I was released from incarceration, now this is after I'm told I'm a progressive criminal, I'm going to just continue. I'm released, and I was released straight home, and I was, I'm told by the staff, the counselors, this is designed so that you come back to prison. And it was like, well, they can't make me commit a crime, right? They can't, they can't make me do any of that thing, those things. And I was frustrated and I was angry. But when I got out, it was like, okay, it's time to get out and figure out what to do. Now working in workforce development, I realized that this is how you can change things. This is the, the most meaningful way that you can change because people's income dictate the life that they'll have, right? And the resources, the access they have. So I came to Impact to see if I could talk to some of the ex-offenders that were in here. I was eventually hired as a job developer, something I had never heard of or been a part of. And my job was to help individuals find employment. And I, and I felt that rewarding. That was great to be able to see somebody go from not having a job to having a job. Because a lot of our barriers are also focused around work. So I do that work both here and I do it outside. So I do mentoring outside of working here at Impact. I do life skills. I do anger management and de-escalation. I spend my time focused on younger younger folks, partly because of my own life and growing up and wishing that some of the things that I have, some of the information I have, someone could have shared with me. What do you want to give to the youth in your community and even to your kids and your grandkids? So I'd speak to my kids. Oh. I hope I'd give them a life drastically different, drastically different than a life I had for my kids and for the future, for my grandkids and great-grandkids, because I think that's the only way. So if anything, I, I like to just, this is for my kids and, and, and all, of the, all of my future and the, the world. Go for the things that's gonna make you successful. Go for the things that's gonna make you feel good about yourself, um, but also do well in the community. Trust yourself, believe in yourself, because there wasn't a bunch of people saying I was gonna be able to do something else. There wasn't a bunch of people who told me I could be what I am doing now. I knew I was greater than what I was told. I knew I could do more than, than what I felt society had said was my, my path in life. And it's based on us knowing who we are and knowing that we can do something greater than what we were to.